case we've been following of a mother charged with killing the father of her children by lacing his iced tea with antifreeze. The case has gone to the jury. ABC's Gio Benitez has the latest details. This morning, the jury may decide the fate of 34-year-old Holly McFeature, accused of slowly killing her fiancé, Matt Podolak, one sip at a time. In closing arguments, prosecutors showed jurors how the antifreeze would have completely disappeared in a glass of Podolak's favorite raspberry iced tea. Side by side with a normal glass, they said you can't tell the difference. No possible way to know that someone was poisoning him. He fell in love with the wrong woman. She was toxic to him. In 2006, living in this Cleveland home with their children, Podolak got violently ill. The 31-year-old Navy veteran died just days later. The cause? Ethylene glycol, the chemical in antifreeze. Six years later, McFeature was arrested, but her defense says her fiancé killed himself. The defense's only witness, Dr. Robert Bucks, a Colorado coroner who reviewed Podolak's medical records, saying the documents suggest he intentionally swallowed antifreeze. They're hoping that there's reasonable doubt that maybe this antifreeze was ingested all at one time, making suicide at least a possibility. Prosecutors reminding jurors that McFeature quickly collected Podolak's life insurance policy and his 401k after his death without paying for the funeral. McFeature pled not guilty. Her defense team says there's no evidence she killed Podolak. You gotta find her innocent. You gotta end the nightmare and you gotta put to rest this family's tragedy. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.